global warming bob decided to host a party he kept the party team superheroes his friends were excited about the news they dressed up in their favorite superhero costumes and arrived at his house it was a lively get together of friends john was satana nina was wonder woman and kim was supergirl who are you bob nina asked bob i am captain earth i am here to protect our planet answered bob bob's dad overheard him and asked how do you know our planet needs help dad miss victoria told us that our earth is boiling in anger we are harming the earth exclaimed bob yes it is true earth is getting hotter day by day it is called global warming added bob's dad bob grew curious dad can you explain a bit more our atmosphere is a layer of gases surrounding the earth that prevents temperatures from rising too high or getting too cold the atmosphere also absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiations from reaching us explained bob's dad nina asked isn't that the greenhouse effect you are right nina that's the natural greenhouse effect but we are talking about the bad greenhouse effect here bob's dad said what is the bad greenhouse effect john asked greenhouse gases include water vapor carbon dioxide methane and nitrous oxide except water vapor other three gases are mostly released by people bob's dad explained our planet is getting warmer as some greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are increasing due to people's activities really nina cried out are we responsible for our planet heating up that's true nina answered bob's dad did you know that the 11 hottest years recorded in the last 100 years have all happened after 1995 the world is definitely getting warmer burning of fossil fuels like oil coal natural gas by people are the real culprits said bob's dad miss victoria told us that fossil fuels contain carbon when they are burnt this carbon is released and gets combined with oxygen in the atmosphere to form carbon dioxide kim added there is another reason for global warming bob's dad said the children looked surprised There is more to our planet's woes, said Nina. People are cutting forests to make land available for other uses. This has led to larger carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. Bob's dad continued. Is that because trees and other plants absorb a lot of carbon dioxide on the earth's surface? asked Bob. That's right, Bob. but the forest cover across the world is reducing every passing day about 36 football fields worth of trees are lost every minute answered bob's dad the earth is falling sick again and again because of global warming glaciers are disappearing sea levels are rising heat waves storms and floods are becoming more extreme what's more Insects are emerging sooner and flowers are blooming earlier. Some birds are laying eggs before they are expected and bears have stopped hibernating. Bob's dad described, because of global warming, there is a rise in water temperature in the oceans too. This has led to the waning of coral reefs that are home to many living creatures. Sea turtles depend on beaches to lay their eggs. but many beaches are disappearing thanks to rising sea levels fish stocks are falling as their staple food plankton and krill is dying due to high temperature in the oceans bob's dad added dad can we do anything to save our planet bob asked well if you reduce your carbon footprint you can contribute to earth's welfare his dad answered what's a carbon footprint Kim asked wondering your carbon footprint is the amount of carbon dioxide released into the air because of your own energy needs you need transportation electricity food clothing and other things 
your choices can make a difference. Bob's dad described, How can we reduce our carbon footprint? John questioned. When you use electricity in your home while watching TV or playing video games, you are creating carbon dioxide. How? That's because the power plants burn coal to produce electricity, releasing the most amount of carbon dioxide. Gas heating used to warm up your home during winter is the second largest source of carbon dioxide emissions. For every pound of trash you throw away, you create one pound of greenhouse gases. As it decays, trash creates carbon dioxide and methane. And we all know that cars contribute to our carbon footprint, exclaimed Bob's dad. Captain Earth, you were right. Our planet needs help. Kim cried out helplessly. What should we do? Captain Earth already had a plan to save planet Earth. Kim Nina and John began creating a to-do list to reduce their carbon footprint. Plant trees. Try composting. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Turn off the lights. Unplug electronics. Only do full loads of laundry or put clothes to dry. Take shorter showers. Turn off the tap. Skip the car ride and use your bike or take the bus or walk. Don't buy bottled water. Drink tap water and filter it if you like. Use less paper. Eat green vegetables and fruits. Less meat and processed food. All the superheroes along with Captain Earth geared up to get set, go. They began by planting trees in the garden. They also promised to reduce their carbon footprint in every possible way. It is never too late to help. The End